Hello colleagues. Today I want to show you an example of a clinical case of a tooth implantation in the upper jaw. In this case we administered anesthesia to the patient and began the preparation. We prepared the bed for the implant by making an incision, peeling off the mucous membrane and using pilot cutters to create a hole for the future implant. For this case we used a surgical navigation template to more predictably carry out the implantation process. The difficulty here was placing the outer teeth. From a distance they have quite a steep incline, but we will solve this in the future with the help of prosthetics. We will probably adjust the lateral surfaces of the teeth slightly. But on the video you can see how after using the pilot cutter, we begin to expand the hole for the implant. The implant we are using requires quite a thick cortical bone, so we expand generously and also use a special cortical cutter to create a profile so that the implant does not jam. The condition of the bone tissue here is good. There is a good volume of bone here in width and thickness, so here, here, successful implantation is quite predictable. In this case, we installed an implant with a good torque of about 35 to 40. However, I still follow the classical technique, I install a plug and sew it up. Unfortunately, as I gain more experience, I don't rush dental implantation. I enjoy doing everything according to a classical scheme, which is, after installing the plug, we sew everything up tightly. After two to three months, we install a gum former for six weeks and only then we begin the prosthetic stage. You can see here that we have lowered the implant to a required depth of about half a millimeter, which in the future will enable us to create a good tooth eruption, and it will all look quite natural. Thank you all for your attention. Have a nice day. Goodbye.